Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seenland, and in this video, we're going to talk about Jeff Bezos again. So, uh, basically, if you've seen recent photos on, online a few uh, weeks ago, then uh, he was on this vacation in some sort of a, I don't know, sea or yacht, and uh, he looked pretty quote unquote jacked for a lot of people, and that got a got a lot of attention from um, media. So, in this video, we'll talk about is Jeff Bezos taking steroids? What kind of other uh, supplements he may be taking? And uh, yeah, is he natty or not? I would love for it to be after I'm dead. <laughs> 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 so these are the pictures that have been circulating uh, on the internet. Um, his new wife and Jeff Bezos is also 57 years old right now. So as you can see, like, there's nothing like really crazy <laughs> impressive about it. He looks, you know, pretty good for a 57 year old, but he's definitely not uh, somewhat of a, like a bodybuilder or he's not like a fitness athlete, physique athlete at all. He's just, you know, he looks pretty muscular. He has like a mass behind him, but you can see this is still pretty like, you know, chubby and uh, fat. You don't see like any visible abs or anything. You can see he has a bit of like man boobs even. <laughs> so he has, let's say fat percentage is around, um, 18% or something like that, up to 20%, he has like a vein on his arm, which probably has gotten some attention while he's wearing clothes. But as you can see, there's nothing like crazy impressive about it. Is this physique achievable naturally? I do think that this physique is pretty achievable uh, naturally. You know, there's nothing, yeah. Uh, I've seen, uh, you know, 57 year olds who are even more jacked or even young, a bit older people as well. So yeah, I don't think that you know, there's something uh, crazy about this physique, whether or not he's an athlete, let's say for comparison, let's say uh, Joe Rogan, who's 52 years old, then, um, you know, he does look even better than Jeff Bezos. Of course, he's younger, five years younger, uh, but, you know, he still looks significantly better, more, more in shape. Obviously, Jeff Bezos is not <laughs> trying to be an athlete, he's just uh, trying to be healthy and maybe help with longevity a little bit and stay younger, but Joe Rogan significantly has a bo better body composition despite being around the same year. And of course, um, Joe Rogan has openly said that he is on TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, and he's taking a growth hormone as well, probably. Uh, so it wouldn't be any, you know, surprise if Jeff, Jeff Bezos also was taking a TRT, which I think he probably is. Uh, he's all, of course working out and, uh, eating healthy, etc. But, uh, compared to Joe Rogan, then, uh, Joe Rogan, who looks better, is taking, uh, steroids. <laughs> at least on the therapeutic uh, amounts, he's not taking a lot. And I don't think Jeff Bezos is also taking any, any like serious anabolics. He's just taking regular testosterone. He probably isn't taking growth hormone, uh, although he may be, uh, but I think it's just on uh, the testosterone replacement therapy. And some, someone else who is also in the 50s, uh, Michael Hearn, maybe 52, who I think is undoubtedly on <laughs> some performance enhancing supplements and higher doses, higher doses of anabolics. And besides not just testosterone, or maybe like higher doses of testosterone. So you can see like this is someone who is probably on serious amounts of um, anabolics. This is uh, Joe Rogan who is on like TRT doses and then Jeff Bezos here, like this could be achievable naturally. Um, but because he is like the richest, one of the richest man on earth and he has all the resources, he has all this, you know, he actually, you know, funded this longevity company as well, who is starting to do longevity research uh, quite soon. Uh, so yeah, he's interested in living longer and staying younger. So there's no surprise why he wouldn't do anything like TRT or growth hormone and such. I think he is on some small amounts, um, but his physique is completely achievable naturally. It's not some crazy impressive physique. It's just an average 57 year old guy who is in shape and lifts weights and obviously is, you know, in uh, good uh, health uh, by the looks of it. Secret. Secret. Okay. <laughs> and this goes to show as well, like how important the muscle mass and resistance training is if we were to put someone else who is 57 years old or someone else who is 50 years old and they don't lift weights at all then you would see a huge uh, difference uh, in terms of the body composition and how young they look so to say because Jeff Bezos does lift weights and he trains uh, regularly he pays attention to his diet then uh, he does look a lot a lot younger than he is but he's probably still on some TRT um, and that kind of things it doesn't have a huge impact on his physique, obviously, because he's probably not that diligent with it. He's not uh, that, let's say, careful with his nutrition and his training, uh, but he does uh, stick to it. And then there's someone like a legend of, you know, uh, Jack LaLanne, who 
was obviously one of the best or one of the fittest men of history. And as you can see, like even he, he was in his 70s, he kind of looks even better than Jeff Bezos right now, so to say, because he's a fitness professional and he, he does that for a living. So um, and I don't think that he was on steroids. Jack LaLanne was probably natural. And uh, at least like in these prime years, he was natural. Maybe in his later years, he was taking something, but uh, most of that is still achieved naturally. And he still looks better than uh, Jeff Bezos right now. So just because of, you know, paying attention to the diet and uh, eating clean, then uh, you can still achieve a much more, let's say, significant physique and uh, still be healthier. Because Jack LaLanne himself died at like 90, 96 years old. So this is the kind of Jeff Bezos' transformation over the years. As you can see, in his 90s, he was very skinny and very frail and a small person. And in around like 2010s or 2014, 2017, where he started to take his uh, like you know training more seriously, and this was one of the first pictures that got attention to what his is he taking steroids and such. Uh, this is probably also when he transitioned over to some kind of TRT, and he's been taking that for obviously maybe like a few uh, years already. <laughs> I'm scared. There's a lot of articles that also say that you know this is an, that Jeff Bezos is natural, and he just follows this professional celebrity trainer's advice. We just eat tells him to probably <laughs> eat clean and uh, do some weights. Um, and to be honest, like you know, he may like he's the same trainer as Tom Cruise and uh, some other f famous people. So it's for sure it's achievable naturally, but I don't think that why would Jeff Bezos want to do it naturally when he's already interested in living longer and funding all this longevity research and such. So he has all the money, he has all the resources, he has the desire, and he probably is on some amounts of uh, TRT, etc. And uh, for him, maybe he wouldn't be considering that taking like steroids. He's probably not taking growth hormone. He's just taking a little bit of uh, testosterone to help with his uh, old age. That's kind of the end of the story. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Uh, is Jeff Bezos natural or um, what kind of TRT is he taking? Uh, other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is C. Stay optimized, stay empowered.